Oh, thank you. I'm happy to be here. I just always have so much to do. <laughs> That's beautiful. And saving these wombs is constant work. I'm so thankful for your works. Yeah, it's, it's uh, constant work. So, I, Excuse the lighting. Let me do this intro really quickly, please. Yeah. Okay. All rights reserved, all rights reserved. This is Tommy Cole Show. We have on here today, well, I'm just so honored this I don't, you're just so many labels and things and names. And Dr. Herb Sister is enough. <laughs> Dr. Herb Sister is an, yeah. a very powerful uh, <laughs> Dr. Herbalist sister woman uh, who is a he, he, uh, guide and healer of wombs. Is that a good way to put that? Mm -hmm. A natural healer. path or, you know, it's many ways to put it. But the yeah. thing is, is that all of us have the sense you know, people say sometimes, I knew I should have did that. I had the thought that I should have did that. So all of us have this intuition that we've been trained not to follow because it doesn't, it doesn't go with the patriarchy. It is a power that's not controlled by the patriarchy because it's in here. And so when you don't follow your intuition, that's when you have regrets. That's when you have, you know, ideas of if I could have, would have, should have. Mm, yes. You and know? that goes into your womb. Greetings. This is a, we're talking about that gut, that second brain. They talk about the gut is the second brain. You know how you get that feeling when you have the willies or your stomach starts feeling funny or tense when you're in a certain space. That's your your gut, your guide showing you that you need to pay attention to whatever that is. Take heed. I was guilty of not taking heed throughout some times in my life. And it shows up in your health. This sister knows how to help get you back to where you need to get on many different holistic levels. That's mind, body, and spirit. So I wanted to have her on here because lately I've been having a few, quite a few friends who have been having womb issues. And um, I am in that age where we're going through menopause, some of us, and some of us are starting to really have some, some kinks and cracks and pops and all kinds of stuff going on, not just with our womb, but with all different parts of our bodies. But the womb, the, you know, your reproductive area is really the core of a lot of physical ailments. Because that includes your intestines, your, you know, your rectum you know, um, your bladder, all of that stuff, you know, is connected, your stomach even, you know. So I'd love this sister on here to let you know that you have alternatives to um, surgery. You know, surgery is not always the, you know, it could be, there's other considerations. I don't want to dissuade people from doing what they feel is best, I'll say, of course. But uh, an all rights reserved, uh, all rights reserved based on the uh, uh, copyright Freedom of uh, Speech Act expression based on educational and informational purposes. We are diagnosing, discussing, dialoguing, podcasting, interviewing, sharing information about other ways to save your womb. Okay. I, you know, I don't know how much amazing, wonderful time I have with this woman. So I want to type, put your information up as well. Please reach out to this woman. I do have a testimony and all that, but I just, I just wanted to tell you in a nutshell what the uh, core objective of today is. Today's information is just to get you to understand that there are alternatives, allegedly, supposedly. I am not a doctor and thus I cannot, of course, fully say this and that and the other, but y'all know what I'm saying. Well, you know what? This is the thing is that you don't have to be a doctor to be in charge of your body. You don't yeah. have to be a doctor to have talked to your friends and know what's going on with them and know what you've tried and what's worked. You don't have to be a doctor to understand that you feel like something's going on. And as many times as you've been to them, they don't get it. And that doesn't mean that it's not there. See, that's the thing that we just started off with, with the intuition. Mm. You got to be strong in that so that when you feel that you're right, you, you know, about what's happening and you feel it, you will continue to follow that. And you go into another person, into another person and, until you get what you need. Okay. You're saying trust yourself more. We have to learn trust how to yourself. trust yourself. You know, so all of the, you know, disclaimers you're making, you know, 
That's for YouTube. <laughs> huh? They make you do that on this. Oh YouTube. yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm saying too is that you know what you what what all of us must do is recognize that this is a magnificent machine that we're in charge of, and it doesn't do anything without certain parameters, without certain things being fed to it, without certain things being thought, without certain kinds of exercise and all of that, you're not going to get what you're supposed to get out of it because it's it could last 120 years. But if you don't treat it right, it's not going to last, you know? Yeah. And if you start cutting stuff out of it, it's not going to last because everything is like any other kind of machine. One thing depends on the other, you know? And when people come to me and say, I wish I'd have met you you know, two years ago, nine months ago, seven years ago, before I had, you know, my womb cut out. Now, what can you do for me? I said, well, we can get you on a really good vitamin program so you can feel energized and hopefully be able to get some of your sexual, um, you know, energy back. Because, you know, that can take it away for a lot of women is having a hysterectomy. And that's not something that's easily discussed, you know? And, and the thing is now, um, the doctors are going after younger and younger women. I've had women 23 years old whose moms came to me because they were trying to give their daughters hysterectomies. And I know women who are in their 50s who lived in certain states because certain states are going to have a higher incidence of disrespecting black women. Can we say that out loud? Oh, I was going to go into all of that. I just oh, yeah. This time I mean, I Alabama, me. Mississippi, places like that. They, South Carolina, I, I know women who have already had a hysterectomy since they were 19. Wow. See, so you have to be your own best advocate because there is nobody else that's going to do it for you like you, or hopefully you have some black women who are your alliances who can work with you and be your, you know, your backup for your ideas and your energy around how you want to be treated. And that's, how does that connect for those who may not understand how that connects? I have some data. We're going to get into all of that. I just wanted to get as much time out of Dr. Eshe before she has to go. She has so, she's a very busy person. So before I tap into, you know, this show goes into all the sciences, holistic sciences, Hollywood gossip, celebrity stuff and all that, mix it all together. Because, you know, I know attention spans, you know, are short and part of this is entertainment. So I always try to connect to, with a respectful, in a respectful way as best you can. Uh, so-called entertainment, edutainment. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, but let, may I, let me get your, uh, your, uh, like your Instagram information and put it up here for us real quick. Okay. It's everything is at D-R-H-E-R-B. S I S T A H at Dr. Herb Sista. All right. Yeah. Now, let, let me tell you, I have used this woman's products. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me give a little testimony. Basically, I'm telling a little bit of my business as clean as I can for these YouTube and public streets. But basically, you know, I had problems with um, holding babies. Okay. I would get pregnant and then I, I would lose them. And I had cysts and fibroids and all that. And when I had one burst before, it's very painful. And I was just starting to learn about, that's when I think um, Dr. Sebi first came to LA, which was like 98, 99. I started learning about his stuff, his, his dietary considerations. And that was pretty much not the first time because I was hanging out at the Good Life Shout out Good Life Cafe in Los Angeles. So I already knew about clean living and things, but like actual herbs to take and things like that. There was Dr. Um, oh my God. He used to go to the Good Life. His mind is that Dr. Set. No, Dr. Ooh, Dr. B. Dr. Oh, B. Dr. Yeah, Dr. B. Yeah. Dr. B. Yeah. He's amazing. He's on YouTube, y'all. Look him up. Dr. B. Serious. Okay. Cyrus. Let's see. Oh, um, so yes. So that's what got me into herbs. I was having cysts and miscarriages and I was like, what's going on? And that's what learned, I learned about diet, like how your diet has a lot to do 
with your womb health and also Russell oh. Herbal. Shout out Dr. Russell of Crenshaw 75th. Woo woo woo. And also rest in peace, Dr. Gosh, with his CKLS, colon, kidney, liver, spleen. All of those different herbalists and scientists have uh, really helped generations of people cleanse and detox and learn about alternative health places. If I'm missing anybody, it's not like intentional. Um, but yeah, once I start, the herbal sister told me, hey, stop eating bread. Stop eating donuts. Stop it for like a year and see what happens. And that's what I did. I changed my diet. I stopped eating fast food. I used to be a fast fooder. I would eat fast food probably almost, if not every day, every other day, at least several times a week. And what I learned was how it affects the womb and all of that, like, allegedly. Okay. That was my experience. But I did stop eating bread and I stopped eating meat and, and for bits of time, dairy. And I detox. I took herbs, you know, took herbs that help get old fecal matter and things out. And I have had no problems ever since. I really, I stopped drinking milk, cow milk, and I haven't had fibroids ever since. And with this sister, I don't, I think my sister, um, Shanti might have mentioned you before. Shanti, um, I'm not really sure. Okay. Shout out to out in Atlanta. But a, a very couple of good friends of mine were having um, cysts like size of grapefruit in their wombs. And I called you and you were so gracious. Y'all, I drove all the way from Louisiana to Atlanta. Oh, wow. And came straight to, I picked up my homegirl and we rolled to this doctor lady's house. She was so welcoming. Well, welcoming. Having, I just called her, of course, ahead of time. She welcomed like she knew me forever, you know, and that's how I respect you as well, like family for real. Um, and she welcomed us in. We tried her products. I purchased, we purchased products, took the price, served my friend, you know, and I left. My friend, unfortunately, she kind of sometimes stopped taking your product. But when I inquired, like, what did you do, girl? She told me even with the bit that she drank, it shrunk it from grapefruit size to tennis ball size. And then she continued to start using the pro products again. And then I don't know what else happened. I got to find out. <laughs> but I use your products. I think you're amazing. You use old school uh, ingredients that are always best. I don't, may I mention one? Yes, 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 yes. Sarsaparilla. Oh, oh, the sarsaparilla, the full body detox. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, the herbs are, 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 they have longevity. People with their own spiritual energy, they put what they want those herbs to do in various ways and formulas. And it's a million different ways. And the way that I did the womb detox that you took that got rid of the fibroids mm -hmm. is something that someone else hasn't done because we all come here with our own particular gifts. Right. So, you know, um, Oh, people always ask me, can I just take this or can I just take that? Well, if those one, two single things worked, they would have been working before I was born and you, I wouldn't have needed to do what I did, you know? So that's the thing is that the synergy of certain mm -hmm. formulations and certain things that various people have in their spirit to put forth for the world are the things that are for the world, you know? Mm -hmm. So you know, it is it is what we need to do is to yes. uh, pay attention to what we're here for. You know? Yes. Now, this is her phone number for those who may be interested in calling and considering her products. I, I guarantee you will be happy. You will they need to great. text me first. Text you. Text <laughs> they need to okay. text me. Right. Yeah. OK, that's 404-244-5565. Child, why don't I wear my glasses? I'm tripping. <laughs> That's very cold. Four zero four two four four, woo, five five six five. There's her products. She'll ship them to you. They were icy pack cold. I was very <laughs> appreciative. I don't know if I'll get dinged for this, but I'm not monetized. I'm not doing this for monetizing sake anyway. But these, this is real quick. I'm gonna put it away. I'm gonna put it away. YouTube. Okay, get grief. Um, <laughs> That's what it looks like when you just push it out. You know, a lot of the homegirls have been telling me they've been getting um, surgeries and stuff. And I just be like, you don't have to get surgery. You know what I'm saying? Um, That's not your first alternative. Your right. first alternative is to look at your lifestyle. 
because most of us have a high stress lifestyle. Even if we don't admit it to ourselves because we are accustomed to it, we have a lot of things that we can cut out of our lives. You know, um, most of the time I tell people, if you hate your mama, hate your kids, hate your husband or your, your, your partner, hate your job, hate your commute, hate where you live, you got to work on that stuff. Yes. You can't just say, give me a pill, give me a tonic, and then keep doing all that other stuff that you don't like, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that people don't want to do. Those yes, are the please. things that's hard. Yes. Those, those, that's work. That's what we call doing the work. And when you do the work, it all comes together and you will have a result. Now, some people want a result in these days, like Amazon. They want it today or tomorrow. We don't have that when you have had something going on in your life for, you know, 10 years. When you have something that everybody else female in your family has, so there may be a genetic component for you. But what you have to do is you have to figure out exactly what it is. And that's what I do. I do the herbal education consultations and talk to people and figure out what it is, give them a plan, herbs, lifestyle, and um, and food on how they can get themselves back balanced. Because when your balance is like this, you know, then you can't you can't get what you need out of your life when you like this. It has to come more like this so you can have what you want, you know. And that takes a bit of discipline as well. Like you can tell it's people. All discipline. I was going to say a lot of times you, because you're like, really, this is like wisdom, right? Like we common sense would say, we know this logically, right? But the get up and go and the push to force yourself to do it. A lot of people have to be reprogrammed into understanding why that's important to take care of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? And I've noticed that um, when I've had conversations with it doesn't even matter what color, what gene, race, ethnicity, or none of that. Uh, a lot of men and women who work a lot tend to have very poor health, um, poor lifestyle, you know, driving, making commutes, not eating lunch, drinking coffee with that oh, fake creamer stuff. Right. You know, stress. Cholesterol builder. Call it cholesterol builder. <laughs> <laughs> stress, all that working with people, you know, energy, you know, just mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's look at, let me show you have something coming up November 16th. I wanted to, to oh, you know, that's going to be, that's a, um, that's a love offering to the community. Like you were just saying about wisdom. There's a lot of accumulated wisdom in all of our families. And sometimes we utilize that a lot of times we don't. So what happens is um, myself and this author, Elaine Ellenwood, we have found each other and we are the, you know, kind of opposites of each other as far as she's Swedish, I'm African descent, but she's just like somebody who is like African descent. And she loves being able to give. And, you know, a lot of times different nationalities don't have contact with people that they want to work with, you know? So she is so happy that I called her one day because I bought her book on Amazon and thought that book was so resonant to me. I felt like I wrote that book, right. you know? And, um, and you have to do that. You have to make alliances so that you can get the healing that's necessary, you know? Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yes. You know, you build community, you build bridges yeah. with other communities and that's what really builds strength. A lot of times they confuse us and make us think that we're supposed to only be in our own little sheltered communities and only deal with each other only and this and that. But that's really limiting, especially when it comes to health. Right. You know, we're all mothers at some point, those who choose to be, you know what I mean? Right. At the end of the day, and we need to have better choices, better ideas for our next generation to push forward with so they can have better health. Right, and I just sent you a couple other things I'm gonna be doing um, coming up because this is a very, um, this is a very busy season because, um, you know, I talk about living with the seasons. I talk about how, you know, we have several different seasons and cycles within our own lives. 
and um and so this is the season of hibernation so when you go down for the season of hibernation you are going down to regenerate yourself to re-educate yourself to remember to relearn and that's the time when you rebuild yeah so this is the time when you you know find new skills um read the book write the papers do, <laughs> right. you know this is that time you know yeah. and um as i was telling you earlier i've been up since three o'clock this morning writing some information that i would love to tell you about before we get uh, finished here today Absolutely. but but it's it's um one of the things i like to talk to people about is our cycles and our cycles are things that happen very quickly time periods that are like fall winter spring and summer but they're cycles and they're called birth life death and rebirth mm. and what happens is most of the time we're going to meet people when they say oh i'm in a situation or my situation right now or you just don't know what's going on with me that is usually when you're in your death cycle mm. and death cycle means that things are ending that will never come back again and some of the things that end in your death cycle is you know your kids graduate from school you lose a job quit retire or you know um get laid off that's part of the death cycle i mean so there are a lot of things that are the divorce separation um you know leave a city those are things that happen in a, your car goes down those are things that happen in a death cycle so, so what uh, forgive me forgive me but yeah. When you're saying death cycle, what is that for? What does that mean, though? What does that mean? Death That's, cycle. What I I'm see saying that. is that yeah. it's that we we have these cycles that go very quickly in our lives, and if we recognize what cycle we're in, then we can also recognize how to put ourselves into the next cycle. So Ooh. when you have a death cycle and you have all these things that are ending, and you feel like your life is falling apart really what that means is that if you have written goals that you have written down we're not talking about something you thought about and that you're going to think about again when you want to start what we're talking about is if you have written goals what you do when you're going through a death cycle is that you immediately go to your goals and pull out something that you wanted to do so you if you um lose your job yes okay you were working at maybe you were working at the county school system okay. now this is your opportunity to go forth and either open up your own acting school or go work at a, a private school or you know um, go do an after school program which is you can never have a too many of those you know? <laughs> i mean and there's all kinds of things that would have been on your list of things that were goals that once you recognize you are in that death cycle you you put yourself into your birth cycle you know so maybe you open up an after school program but you know and that immediately puts you in the birth cycle birth cycle means that there is either is an actual birth or there's some newness you got a new job you open up a new business you move to a new city you have a new relationship you 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 know newness is what a birth cycle is incredible so then at this this i wish i had known this when i was in my 20s but i learned this through um working in in mandalas and some other things it all combined and i made my own thing out of it but okay so then the rebirth which is after birth is say you have this um this after school program okay so it's going good now what you've decided to do is you've decided to go ahead and um maybe i gave you the wrong one um you decided to go ahead and get some grants so now that's even better for you because it goes and takes you to a whole nother level i sent you a better copy you know yeah um and that's and that's the thing is when you have an opportunity to make something better that's a rebirth and then when whenever whatever you made better and it's just going along and things are great that's called life and you just everything <laughs> is going i mean you know that's it but the thing is is that we don't know this and so we all some people stay in death cycles for their whole life 
because they get a lot of attention out of it and mm-hmm. or they in somebody else's life and somebody else's business who don't want to you know strive to pull themselves up and so you over there in their business so that keeps you in their death cycle so you stay in a death cycle with them I, I, yeah i met a woman who was trying to help her her daughter who was with a guy she didn't like she was 16. the parents didn't like the guy well she ends up getting pregnant by this guy oh, and so then they have a baby girl and the mom decides well we're going to help her we're going to stick with her da, da, da. Right. so then you know they just in that that death cycle with that daughter it was a brief birth cycle and they stayed in the death cycle because it was a negative relationship and they stayed in that death cycle until that the grandchild got to be eight years old and then they decided you know what this is not changing mm-hmm. we cannot stay in, we're getting older we cannot stay in this like this forever and they came to an event that i was doing in florida with tom joiner and things like yeah. that and tom joiner. yeah and um and I was able to show them that they were stuck in this death cycle. And that's why their life wasn't going good. That's why their relationship wasn't changing and growing. That's why they weren't going on vacation and enjoying their time together and their money and looking forward to a retirement and all of that because they weren't allowing themselves to go into any birth cycles, which is all of this stuff I just mentioned, because they were stuck in the death cycle with the daughter. So when you say birth cycle, you basically mean stepping outside of the same, the old same you've been doing. Try something different. Do something new. Goals. I'm talking goals. goals. Because most of the time, women, their goals are the goals of their partner, their church, their kids, their job. They don't have their own personal written goals. And that's what I'm saying. Mm. You have to have your own personal written goals so that you can take yourself from my situation to something that you want, that you are directing, that you are in charge of. And most women are allowing everything else to be in charge of them. And this is one of the reasons why they have womb issues. And that's what I was saying. <laughs> Woo, I knew you was coming full circle. I was just waiting for, look, like I'm doing right. all the muscle exercises. While you I'm look doing. great. You are, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and so these are the kinds of things that I, we talk about in these classes to so that this is information that the average woman would not come upon. And we have already lived this life. We have already read all these books and put these things together. And so every once in a while, the elders like myself and Elay, we do things so that we can bring people together and, and educate and guide and what the what the old people used to say put your hand on put your hand on them you know you gotta keep your hand oh on them. man that's so old school i love yeah, that yeah 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 you gotta Wait, keep your I, hand on them can i mention the soap listen yes, listen yes. okay this soap y'all and it's not gonna be that soap because i teach everybody to make their own brand you know mm. yeah i sent it again so it could be good yeah this is the best selling i mean great yes, some it great, is. great smelling healing soap yeah okay no shade to the corporate soap. I'm just saying. No, there's some shade to the corporate soap. Why? Because <laughs> the corporate soap, a lot of times, is detergent. Delicious. The same stuff you use to clean your driveway and your clothes and a lot of other industrial type soaps. So putting that in your VJ and, and on your face and Ooh. other places is the worst thing you could do. And you wonder why you're having problems and you leaking and you wet all the time. is because you're putting detergent in your VJ. Damn. So. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put it to him to it like that well you know what the thing is is that <laughs> i am very much about people being real clear on what they need to heal so that you know what i talk to the sisters about all the time tell the truth so you can heal tell the truth so you can heal mm, mm, mm. so when that. there's problems and you keep trying to allow those problems to be okay when it's eating you up inside then you need to tell the truth so you can heal. I don't know why that's going on like that. Yeah, that's terrible. This yeah, is it's like- on my phone just as good as it want to be. Mine yeah. too, mine yeah. too. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why it's doing that. It's I did put it on TikTok. How's that? It changed it, you there know? 
Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Right. Thank you. See, tenacity. See, you know what? Look at that. That was a situation right there. That was a death thing because we wanted that to work. <laughs> but you you had to go to get it up so that it would look proper. And immediately, birth cycle, great stuff. We're happy. You know, that's how fast the cycles <laughs> change. You oh, know? <laughs> but that was a very good example because yeah. a lot of times, you know, tenacity. They Tenacity is what yeah. is missing right at this time because of the speed of the TV, internet, phone thing. Everybody's we just, just talking about that. Everybody's just everything moving quickly and fast. And, and a lot of times they don't show the work that goes into the final product of things. So there's that's a mystery to a lot of people. Sometimes they don't understand how you go from raw materials and this and that to the edge, end of the product. And they are like, oh, I quit. You know, even my children have attempted to be guilty of that. I'd be like, you got to put time into your trombone and your trumpet or your guitar. You have to put time in. Just like I got to do some sit-ups. I got to put some time in. <laughs> I done gained 30 pounds. It's ridiculous. So I know I got to, during the week, I got to drink smoothies. I got to just drink smoothies and eat salad and, and get some cardio. <sighs> sister Herb, sister, this has just been an honor. I don't want to hold you up because I want to get into the, I don't know what, I don't, how, how do I say this? I don't know if you want to get into the aspects of the conversation I'm about to have with my audience and I didn't want to. Okay. Have, okay. 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 Know. Well, I, you got, you got my things on there. Um, people are more than welcome to come to that event. That. Hold on. Let me put that back. <laughs> and, and I'm having some other events because like I said, this is the time of hibernation. So I just created a womanist herbology. What? Womanist herbology. What? Yes. This is, this is historical. It's her historical, you know, yeah. because I took the, the, you know, I, when I was at Berkeley, I studied with, um, professor, um, Alice Walker, you know? Yes. So, um, so I've had many conversations with her, um, and in her office, et cetera, in Berkeley. And, and I know very well, um, that what she was thinking when she put that whole thing in the color purple about womanism, being a womanist, but also growing up, and if you have Southern parents, they would always say to girls that were very independent and strong minded and doing stuff that they were womanish, just like the boys would be mannish, you know? <laughs> I remember that word. You remember that. Yeah. Yeah. They don't, people don't say that anymore. But Haiti, she acted Haiti. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Haiti. Yep. 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 <laughs> so that is the womanist herbology is coming up in January. Give everybody a chance to go through all of this. And, um, and you can go on my site. I'm going to do some, yes, I'm going to do some um, seminars, uh, one seminar just to explain the concept and what we're going to be doing. And, um, but I know that it's going to be, I can feel it that it's going to be a university um, level course because women of color have, and Native Americans have created herbalism in this country. But what happened in so many ways is that European men or white men would go to the midwife, would go to the auntie, would go to the, you know, the mammy and ask them how were they curing and healing people. And they would tell them and they say, show me. And they would show them because they were so-called chattel at the time. And then they would take it and present a paper at the American Medical Association. Right. Or they would take it and go back to England and open up a um, herbal school and a healing school and all of this. So we have been, uh, what, what what did they say? Were they being funny? Yes, Yada says, when you're 150 and still look 25, let me know. <laughs> well, I, I got to see yes, Yada before I can make a comment on that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> on Twitch? But, okay. But that's what the, that's the thing about woman is herbology. African African American women, native native peoples, we have they had an herbology that was not like ours, you know. And what what everybody's using here now is what it is that we have created, Native Americans and African African Americans, you know. So we're going to really learn the herbology from that point of view. That's from amazing. the people of the earth point of view, you know. 
Can I it's ask not you something? Done. It's not done anywhere yet. <laughs> Let me ask you this, and not to be all Debbie down or whatever. Uh, but they have been talking about these controversies of like, especially during the, you know, what epidemic that popped off. Was there any backlash, any heat? Did you get any uh, nothing? I didn't get anything because um, one, I never, I was, I was trying to learn about it as quickly as everybody else. So they're doing the research and I'm looking at the research too, you know, because it was a novel, it was a novel event, one in a hundred year event. And the, the viruses was novel. Everything was novel. So, you know, people were taking my lung tonic. They were doing various things I had, but I did not put it out there like that because I had eight people in my family die. Ooh, in, yeah. in Flint. You know, it, it was it was wiping people out. Hmm. And I did not want to be part of that, you know, thing where I done said something and, and the person think they cool and then they they feel good and then and then they die. You know, because that happened to one of my cousins. Uh, about I, and then he died. You know, so, yes. So you know, um, the thing is, is that you, you know, I am very respectful of the plants, of the power of the plants, of yeah. the herbs, of the position of all healing modalities as something that the Creator gave us that we need to use back and forth. I am one of those people that I would say, go to the doctor get the test get the you know the the, the um the ultrasound and the, you know all of the scans and then come back and let's look at it and then we'll come up with a program you know because that is part of the creator too these machines are incredible you know yes the fact that they can look inside of your your body yeah and they can look inside your arteries they can look inside your cells you know it doesn't so, have to be one or the other. You can use it. It doesn't one. have to be. It's integrative. Get a diagnosis, integrative you know. Integrative medicine, you know. This. And I'm Ooh. all about making sure that you get the best so that you can have a good life. I'm not trying to get all the credit. It's plenty of people out here that need help. And like one of my friends used to say, it's plenty of sick folk to go around, you know. So people need to understand you're not. You're not being disrespectful to your body to use everything that can heal you, yeah. you know what? And that's what I want to say before we go is that um, because our community and particularly, you know, we, we leave here early, you know, um, we the average I think the average lifespan is 84 years old for um, Latino and and white people. And black people, black women, they they leave here at 82 years old, and black men leave here at 64 years old. You oh know? yeah, you were just talking to me about high blood pressure stuff. That's what I'm doing. I am doing what is called the Great Blood Pressure Movement, and what that is is that we are um, teams of us are going to go out to the gas stations, the barber shops, the beauty salons, the Home Depot, you know, the places where I know we go, you know, because mm -hmm. we love our people and we know what we do. And so <laughs> <laughs> we go there and and say, hey, you know, and this is how everybody needs to greet each other these days. Hey, how's your blood pressure? You know, everybody because in that fast food. It's, it's a it's a lot. We like we were just talking about, you know, the whole COVID thing. That was a trauma for the world and trauma sets up blood pressure issues, you know, <clears throat> yes, genetic African people, African descent people have higher blood pressure at lower ages than any other people in the world. That's number one, you know, but we also have to recognize that we need to be taking care of ourselves on a regular basis. We don't want to wait so something is wrong and then try to use all the plants we can to heal it. What, right. what uh, herbal medicine is about is being proactive. So you're doing things in advance of having things wrong. You don't have to wait and see, oh, now I feel something. So let me take it. No, that is not how it works. You need to do it in advance. So you never feel anything, you know? Yes. I want to. Oh, 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 please go, go ahead. ahead. So that's what I'm saying is that, you know, taking your blood pressure every day is being proactive. 
Mm. And you could get a blood pressure cuff from Amazon for twenty five dollars and you keep a journal of your blood pressure. And when that thing starts changing, you know, something's you know happening to your body. And that's the first way you're going to know. You should be. And that goes back to tapping in with your gut. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and that's also one of the little machines that can help you understand what's happening, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, I, that is part of how we are going to be able to keep ourselves on the planet and have our kids have great, great grandparents at the same time that they have grandparents and, you know, not just, you know, and not have mothers and fathers and grandparents. This is, this is getting to the point where it's, it's ridiculous. You know, uh, the only place I'm tapping in after we get you, you're, um, with your friend, you know, is the sex part where people are, uh, the, the way people are doing different sexual acts at this time, uh, have been a very big component of a lot of the womb issues and prostate issues as well. Health issues. Overall. Well, you know, the thing is, is that prostate is, it's, it's just like any other little little sack of a, or organ it's right there next to the kidneys and things sediment goes through it all the time and it's hanging underneath the kidneys and what happened and, and it makes the semen that goes through there and goes out through the the, the glands to go out of the, the phallic muscle which mm -hmm. is that's a muscle mm -hmm. so the thing is is if you drive all the time if you, you know, like a truck driver and you mm -hmm. bouncing all the time, this is a problem for Ooh. your body, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and, and then you got bad food on the road and you don't know what your blood pressure is. You're not drinking water. You're drinking, you know, pop or sodas or drink, whatever you call them, you know, right. and you just got a whole bunch of, you know, circumstances all at once that's causing you to have a health issue. And you're trying to get, you're trying to get wherever you're going in, eight hours because you only get to drive so long so we have a lot of various issues and um we all have to take responsibility for some of these issues that we're having and and recognize you know like you kept saying earlier you know what you don't have to be a doctor to bring out that blood pressure cuff at the at the um thanksgiving <laughs> um the thanksgiving dinner you don't but you need to be able to say okay everybody sit down and drink some water and be quiet for a minute then we're gonna take everybody's blood pressure Jeez. that's a good loving thing to do instead of just giving people chitlins and and you know all this sugar hot sauce and you know hot sauce is good for you especially mm -hmm. for men because it's that that's one of them circulatory things that keep your circulation going so them mm -hmm. little tiny bottles that they have that's one of them things that they need to carry around because mm -hmm. that's going to keep their blood flowing and everything moving and as they get older blood flow is everything for a man because it's got everything to do with that that phallic muscle whether it can go up and down yeah we both did the same <laughs> up and down right so they <clears throat> men are very conscious about that so yeah that phallic muscle important you know and that's a problem with a lot of even men now in their 30s i know i know it's poor diet lifestyle stress yes. bad food pills uh too much alcohol they've been really pushing alcohol, alcohol in the hip-hop you know world a lot you know why because everybody got their brand and they want their brand to be successful you got p diddy with a brand you got yeah. you know the the, the car the kardashians with brands i everybody. mean everybody got a brand and they want you to to buy it they don't want you to buy clothes no more. They want you to buy something you could keep buying every day. Alcohol, and they're causing more alcoholism in our community with that. Well, now. you know, if nothing else, you know, one of the things is that for liquor or men, they only supposed to have a shot a day, like 1.25 ounces, only two beers, about 12 ounces. And they drinking way more than that. And this is re directly related to how your blood pressure is based on how much alcohol and beer etc that you drink so if you're drinking a six pack that's why your blood pressure is high Ooh. you know plus you're sitting all day and you're sitting yeah that's inactivity no exercise another reason i mean so there's a lot of reasons why we have these issues but you know um thinking that you know you you could drink as much as you could drink is not a good thing right 
And then, of course, now the hookah is a popular thing. I don't know if you... Yeah, it's that. big in Atlanta. but you I know, know. LA, Vegas, Chicago. But you know what? The thing is, is that we are, we are pack animals. That's the thing about us. That's why, you know, we love to be together with our families and all yeah. that because we are pack animals. So when people get into groups in which that is the level of fun for them, then they're going to do things that are unhealthy because that's the group's fun. You know, gotcha. it's like used to be I, when I was growing up back in the day, what guys used to do was their pack of fun was playing basketball. So you would, I ain't seen no pack of boys walking around like that with basketballs going from one neighborhood to the next, playing other teams and other yeah. bass in other neighborhoods. They don't do that no more, you know? So because well, now they, yeah, it's turned into one you want to fight, not even fight anymore. It shoot. becomes shoot gunplay. Yeah, gunplay now. Yeah. Uh, yes. Again, Dr. Herb, sister, yes. 404 244 5565. Reach out for a consultation. She has consulted me in different endeavors. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful conversations, wisdom always given. Um, for a fee, y'all. Come on now. Beautiful. <laughs> Definitely support because she's worth it and, and you're mm -hmm. worth it because you see the skin. <laughs> that is a direct reflection of what my colon and my intestines are working with. Okay. <laughs> and my reproductive area. So get with this lady. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in with me. I know we're a little early. Those of you who will catch up, will catch up and support the sister. She is also at IG. Doctor at Doctor Herb Sister. That's D R H E R B S I S T A H. For my folks in Germany, India, Egypt, we got a we got a pretty nice following in Canada too. Shout out! Reach out, hit up these uh, Black Americans. You know we invented pretty much everything. <laughs> we did, we did. So I'm just saying we did. So remember that, okay? It's the herbs too, all of that. So <laughs> no joke. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Now I'm going to dive into the celebrity um, connection gossipy part of this. I got, because I'm talking about like how the youth are very interested. I pay attention. Sometimes I do a, I do a bit of research on what people are watching. And I've been noticing that they've been promoting this Krishan blue face stuff. And I don't know. I didn't want to burn your time with any of that unless you wanted to give some. Um, uh, you know what? I, I like to keep my finger on the pulse of what people think is important, you know, and and I I am I feel sorry for her. Me too, actually. You know, and the thing is, is that she don't have an elder to come and put their hand on her. We were just talking about that. Mm. Somebody need to put their hand on her. People are criticizing her, and you know, like his mama and condemning her, and people are setting her up for stupid pictures in Walmart, and you know. Yeah. I mean, this sister needs help. And this is part of what we used to do when we would take on other people's kids, other people's cousins, you know, your mama's sister's kids. All of that. All of that. And this right here is not supposed to be happening to this young woman who has so much potential and so much to give. And she's so damaged. And when something starts going wrong with her, when she starts getting to the point where they on a, a watch, a suicide watch or something, then people going to try to act like they needed, they wanted to help her. But that mm -hmm. is not, a, none of us are immune to that. And this is ridiculous how they treating her. And, and, and I would like to see it as a cautionary tale to some of the younger sisters that you could be all in with a brother. As soon as you get the baby, the, the deal is done. Teach. Oh, teach and they also have to have the ears to listen yeah to yeah well you know the thing is is that a lot of times is it, it i guarantee you she can tell you now and and she only been in the, in that game for what six months you know maybe a little yeah a little longer than that i mean i'm talking about the baby's age oh you know Less. you know but you know but he left her pregnant you know and and this is not how we want to um put our men out there we got so Jeez. many ingre incredible men who are doing incredible Jeez. things and we want to extol the virtues of that Teach. you know 
I love how you said that. Um, how, are you familiar with a woman named Cynthia G? No, I'm not familiar okay. with her. Well, she was kind of telling things, but the way she would express it would be very anti-man. And so no. you said- I got three sons. Very refreshing and beautiful. And we need to hear that because the blood brothers are not the enemy. Okay. And you know what? That's our community. We kept brothers alive. Mamas and sisters kept brothers alive during some of the worst points in our history. No, it's about how you raise people. And Jeez. I can already see Jeez. where he, why he like he is because what his mama do, you know? Mm. So we, um, we need to extol the virtues of the men who are inventing things, who are creating apps, who are, you know, the, 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 the man who created a super soaker is a black man. Oh, we need to GPS. Talk, yeah, GPS. We need to talk about something positive about black men. Air I, conditioner. You know, don't, we don't need this. We don't need this. And you know, and he happens to be one. But we need to for every one that we have like that. We need to go find another one who's doing the right thing. They need to be able to put that in the social media realm. They're not pushing that though. They're only. You know what? Ain't nobody gonna click on it. People like, they like <laughs> right? the death cycle. People like the death the cycle. Death cycle. Ooh. <laughs> they they thrive on watching the death cycle. Teach. You know. That was well said. That was well said. But that was going in with like a lot of the a lot of brothers and sisters been trying to catch each other's attention by doing all kinds of freaky deaky things, and they said that throat cancer is on the rise, and they say it's mostly coming from the O flavor. You know, all rights reserve, all rights reserve. But they're saying that um, throat cancer is coming from a lot of these different uh, endeavors people are doing. Well, you know what? Let's just put it. Let's put it bluntly, because it's a medical issue that we're talking about. Come on. And the medical issue is that a lot of people have HPV. It may not even be active where they know that they have HPV, but in 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 engaging in various oral sex you can transfer that virus virus is a cold virus virus is a herpes virus and we should also talk about that you can't you know herpes everybody got herpes everybody got herpes this is what i have to tell my kids all the time you know but hpv is a virus and you get it into your body into your mouth your throat etc it's a wrap it's, it's going to look it's a warm dark moist place you know so, I mentioned um, this because um, they're saying, according to mayoclinic.org, shout out Mayo Clinic, um, I, this is on the rise, they say, with a certain age group. Did you know this? Yes, I did. <laughs> and I've been doing a little bit of research about this. Throat cancer is on the rise because of a lot of the old, the old, old type of sexual experience, S-word experience. So be aware of these things and, and do take herbs and take care of yourself. Change your what is you just said the word several times, your lifestyle. <laughs> your lifestyle, you gotta you gotta get sometimes gauge if it's worth the gamble. All right. Um, where was I going? Where else was I going with that? I had some Williams Institute law findings. I just didn't know how much time I had with you. Okay. Um basically it goes into like I'm not trying to go into people's bedrooms too tough, but I am talking about um, it is connected also in a way. I did went to the CDC.gov. Let's see right here. Not that I agree with everything CDC.gov does, but their research, you know, I do research. So I kind of understand, you know, how they get their information. So um, they're saying a growing body of research shows that well, centuries of racism and discrimination in this country have had a profound negative impact on communities of color. Let's keep moving though, because my main focus here right now is just to talk about different sexuality, like experiences that contribute to, what was that you said in the very beginning? Being honest. Telling yourself the truth. Being true with yourself. And a lot of, good friends of mine have shared that usually when they're getting these cysts and these fibroids, it's been because of an experience they've had or experiences, how they carry their sexual life. Basically, I'm going to just say that. A lot of women I know have been fruity, flea, flea, 
opening legs everywhere. Is that, should I? And men. Well, you know what? The thing like, is, is that this is what I'm talking about, about paternalism, because we've been taught that when women have in, enjoyable and, and free sex, that is a problem. Oh, no, and I was they, going to the no, next. What I'm going to say, what I'm going to say. And then when men do it, they are playboy and they got they got right. it like that. You know, That's ridiculous. Yeah. Right. But the thing is, is that you can either person can um, come down and get something. That's either either one of them. Men well, or I don't want to leave it there. I, I wasn't trying to make us the problem. I was just going to say that um, when we're having these uh, type of, you know, liberated or free love, what I don't know how to put about when we're allowing ourselves to be expressive, the partners sometimes are not always being honest. You got to use a condom. <laughs> Period. Period. You're not married to them. You got to use a condom. They go out of town. You got to use a condom. I mean, you know, you got to get tested. You you, you got to keep up with that because That's once you get yeah. herpes, I, I can't tell you how many women they get herpes from somebody they thought they had a good relationship with. And then he move on. He didn't gave it to how many women. And um, and now you are feeling some kind of way because now you feel like, oh, man, I'm going to have this. And, you know, and it, it could you if I have a child coming through while I got a outbreak, that child could be blind. I don't want mm -hmm. my, um, you know, I don't want to tell any other man that I meet that I got herpes. How do I handle that? It's very stressful and stress helps the, 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 the sores and everything break out. You know, Teach. it's a virus. When Teach. you deal with viruses, you cannot do anything except manage them. You know? Yes. It's like a cold virus. And, a, you know, it's all of these are viruses. Teach. So they're showing this little herpes bump on Jade and Alexis. That's his other baby mama that he lives with. And they're saying that she got what they call the package. So that's what this was about. Not playing the whole thing. Shout out to Miss Lowdown. This is from Miss Lowdown. She's saying Jaden Lexus is out of here fronting and now being clowned for possibly catching that package. Because right after this guy, Blueface, this past weekend was found in Florida with Krishan again. Uh, he came on right back to Jaden. So here's here's what this sister's talking about. And welcome. And I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I was looking at the live that they was doing, you know. The day that he came back from the eight round bout with Krishan. And oh, by the way, she, Krishan is out here bragging and telling everybody that her and Blueface is still mingling and tingling without protection because she's trying to have another baby by him. So I'm going to just say this, y'all. Whatever it is, because I don't know. I, I, I don't be around them. Thank the Lord. I don't. Okay, y'all. <laughs> but whatever it is that Jaden might have, Krishan got it too. Krishan has it too. So y'all just look, be on the lookout for her. You know, look, she going to have Enrique Iglesias, Ricky Martin. Anyways, yeah, so that's a big issue now. It's just. I, I, you know what? The okay, thing is, is that communicable diseases have have always been with us, always. You know, okay. we now have names for them, but people have always had something going on. You know, and mm -hmm. and and the fact of the matter is, is that you know, um, you do the best you can do, but making sure that you are keep you know being with somebody who's wanting to be with you and being true to you. That's part of the that's part of the bond. And I know that might be old fashioned, you know, <laughs> that might be old fashioned, but you know, that's the thing All that we gotta acknowledge is that, you know, everybody makes mistakes, Yes. but you know, once you make a mistake, you're supposed to learn from it. You ain't supposed to keep doing it. Yes. Unfortunately, sometimes we don't listen the first time and then it comes back around child and then it's worse the next time. Woo. But that goes back into trusting yourself and reading the signs. And also yourself. thinking that you are worthy. You're worthy of having a guy who wants to be with you only if that's what y'all want. You know, you're worthy of having 
standards of what you want. You're worthy of that. You don't have to go into a situation where it's it's like, you know, it's plenty of men out there. It's plenty of water out there. It's plenty of food out there. We don't have no, you know, you know, things where we, it, it's, it's a, it's a less than situation. It ain't no in, in values of things that we need, Team. you know? So, you know, I know it's, I know it's big. I know it's big, but you know, that's we, a very mature way to look at that. <laughs> so what I also research has shown guys and ladies and gentlemen out there, uh, that this next generation, the, I don't, what are they? Jen's exit. I don't know these names, but the ones who are like 20 and younger for the first time in a very long time are remaining virgins longer. Yeah, they are. And they're not having children either. Isn't that's, that's, that would be, that would be my daughter. She's very focused. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, well, you know what? That means that they learned. They didn't have to, well, you know, that, that F around and find out they already found out, <laughs> you know, yeah. they I'm found out, so they learning. So yeah, they're right under that 25 and under the 25 and up actually were the ones that got caught up in the, the future uh, pill popper promoter uh, aspect of life. But this right under that, yes, they're not even popping pills. Well, I'm, you know, the thing is, is each generation is supposed to get better. Yes. Each, but, you know, we have several tiers within our group within our society. We know this, you know, and I call them the cousins, you know, so <laughs> we know that we got all kinds of cousins. We, we got to love them. We know who they are. We know how they roll. And we just got to acknowledge that while at the same time, you know, continue to pull up as many people as possible. That's how we doing it. You know, I love that. That's yeah. a very progressive way to push that. Yeah. But I, I got my phone is blowing up. So I already know. I yeah, already yeah, know. yeah. So I gotta Thank go you. now. Thank, Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Earth I'll system. talk to you later. Okay. Then. okay. All right, y'all. Tell them Tommy Cole sent ya. Tell them Tommy Cole sent ya. Tell them I tell Dr. Herb sister that you heard from me and that you're reaching out from this show. And let's see how many of y'all actually, you know, sh show support to her herbs. She is really amazing. Her works are really and truly a thank, you know, a godsend. I'm tripping off my lighting right now. That's what's going on. And this dog came in here. I'm dog sitting, y'all. I never thought I'd do that ever in a thousand years, ever. Chihuahua at that, y'all. I mean, good grief. But I am. Hey, get off my bed. Get up, get off my bed. Get down. Thank you. Um Anyway, that's it. Okay, so the only other thing I was going to show, and that's Dr. Herb's sister down in Atlanta. Go check her products out. Her shit really works. It's, it's just sexual stuff like this, though. See, my charger's tripping. Hold up. Whoa. Woo. Hold on. Don't forget to click like, y'all. Please click like on my show. It does help with the algorithms. And also, I bust a light bulb. If anybody would like to donate $6 <laughs> for a new light bulb, that would be really cool. Um, I did just lose my job again, y'all. It's crazy. I didn't want to talk about that in this particular thing. I'm going to jiggle, though. We'll talk about that at another time. All right, but anyways, I just was gonna press play on this and then because this thing is low battery and it's gonna be live and that's gonna be embarrassing. So let's do five. So I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking shit about Boosie. You're not Gabriel Union spilling the beans on Dwayne Wade's dirtiest secrets and then burning him at the stake after he betrayed her once more. Dwayne Wade has been- Allegedly, all this is allegedly all rights reserved. Basically when people have all these nasty, weird, little kiki freaky little sex games, Germs are involved. So after you get the germ, hit up Dr. Herb sister. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got to go. I, I'm going to probably do some more interviews later or some more gossipy, whatever. Click like. Hit up Tommy Co. Show TV on Cash App if you'd love to really donate and support. I am literally putting these things toward my little studio. And uh, thank you. I hope you learned some stuff today. 
So instead of getting cut up, you can just push the little thing out and it'll pop off and boom, bam, boom, bam. Better health to everybody. This has been the Tommy Go Show. Don't forget to click like, share it, subscribe. I love it. All right. Have a good day. Yeah.